Hey, what's up guys? Jake here with Success Motors. Then I have another Ford Excursion walk around video for you guys today. I would be willing to bet that this is the nicest Ford Excursion you have ever seen, at least for the price point. There are some excursions that are crazy expensive. Some of you might even think this is one of them that's crazy expensive. Uh, but for the price point, I'm telling you, there's not a nicer excursion in the country. I guarantee it. I got receipts. I've got, man, I just can't wait to tell you about it. But hey, if it's your first time with us, welcome. Uh, my name is Jake. I'm the owner operator of Success Motors. We are a specialty dealership in College Station, Texas, and we sell like 99% Ford excursions. Uh, if this is your second or third or more time back, welcome back to the channel. I sure appreciate you all. I appreciate your likes and subscriptions, your comments. I just appreciate you guys uh, hanging around and following us with what we do. There's a lot of people that like Ford excursions, including myself. But hey, a couple of housekeeping things here. Watch the whole video, guys. If you're interested in this excursion, watch the whole video. If you're not interested, skip, skip around, whatever. But if you're interested in acquiring this excursion, please watch the entire video. I'm going to attempt to document every single thing, everything good, everything bad about it, so you know exactly what you are getting uh, if you purchase this excursion. Um, that being said, I'm sure it's possible that I will miss something. So if you're out of state and you don't feel like this was enough information for you to make a good educated purchasing decision, then give me a holler and I'll send you some, I'll send you some more videos or feel free to come down to College Station. I'll pick you up in the airport and you can see this beauty for yourself. And then lastly, be sure to check out the description and the little video description below. I'm sure there's something I forgot to mention about this rig down there. So check it out. As always, you can email me info at successmotors.net or give me a call 979-202-1948. All right, guys, this is a 2005 Ford Excursion. It is an Eddie Bauer. It is a Power Stroke diesel. It is a four-wheel drive. It is bulletproofed. Texas truck, no rust, 130,000 miles. Guys, I'm not kidding you. I know I can. I say that a lot, that we have nice trucks, and our trucks are getting nicer and nicer and nicer with every one that we list because I'm getting more selective with what we buy and what we sell. So this is absolutely top 1% of trucks in the country, I would say under $50,000 because some of them are crazy nice. Um, but when you get up to the you know, 50, 60, 70 grand, it's hard to compete with that. Keep in mind, it's still 20 years old and it does have 130,000 miles on it. However, man, this thing, I've got about 10 or $12,000 worth of receipts. I'll show you inside um, with, anyway, I'll just tell you everything we did when we get in there. I'm gonna show you all the flaws I can. It has a couple of little nicks in the paint. The paint I would rate as a real strong nine out of 10, again, considering the age, but that doesn't mean it's perfect. It does have a few rock chips, uh, but no major dents or flaws on the outside or really anywhere, but I'll attempt to show you them all. This one is running the BF Goodrich K02. I'm not familiar with the date code, uh, but we're running, it looks like size 275, 65R20. Uh, tires appear to be next to new. Tread life, solid depth no dry rot also these are king ranch oem wheels off of a late model super duty and then check out in here we've got performance brakes we've got slotted and drilled brakes those are new uh new discs new pads are in there look great we're running new bilstein shocks you can see uh just no surface rust on the frame absolutely phenomenal and very clean coming around here again forgive uh the wind noise if you can hear that in the back i don't actually edit these videos at all because i just want you to know exactly what you're getting i'm not interested in impressing you with our ability to edit a video biggest paint flaw on the truck comparing that to a watch or a finger it's small definitely down to metal you should patch that with something no dents on this door obviously uh aftermarket mirrors i like this style better than the oem gives you a little bit more visibility on the glass 
but no dents over here. We're on the passenger side. Stay tuned to the very end. I'll drive this truck. This thing drives uh, just really good. I, I can't overstate how nice this truck is. This one is, this one will, me, will make you rethink everything you thought you knew. What I mean by that is I've got an excursion that I've been daily driving now for about, I don't know, 2,000 miles. And I was pretty content with it until I hopped in this thing and just realized how quiet this one is and how, um, just how nice it is and smooth it is. And, and man, it's just a really good driving truck. Uh, we did a lot of motor work to it, which I'll show you inside in a minute. We got new head studs, it got new heads, O-ringed heads. It got um, new injectors, got a new fuel pump, got all kinds of things. Tires are of course new on all four corners. There you go, there's the King Ranch wheel, which just looks so good with this color combination. It does have the Banks four inch turbo back. Sounds nice, it's quiet, but it sounds good. It's not like too quiet or too loud. Really nice truck. No accidents, clean title. I believe it's been garage kept. This is the original paint. Some of them we do repaint. This one has not been repainted. Original paint, you can tell this truck was garage kept. I purchased it uh, from a, um, I know how it sounds when I say this, but an older couple, they were in their 50s and they were retired and they used this thing as their uh, daily driver and whatnot. It's got a aftermarket bumper. I believe it's the brand is in there. I think it's called Bodyguard. It also has a uh, backup camera. You can notice this aftermarket bumper still retains the reverse sensors and backup lights. You can see the Bilsteins all around. No flaws there. Just a really clean, good running truck, guys. This one is this one is nice. I'm just I can't overstate it. This one is extremely nice. Perfect? No. Really nice? Yes. As nice as anything we've ever sold. I'll show you the brakes in there too. You can see just those nice high performance brakes all around. The new tires all around. Also, stay tuned for underneath the hood. This thing has the bulletproof branded oil cooler and bypass filter. And I'll show you all that here in a second, but it's the actual bulletproof brand. So when we all say these trucks have been bulletproofed, there's actually a brand or a company, I guess, that started it. And they're literally bulletproof brand. And so now just kind of the code word, like saying Kleenex for tissue, um, you know, really you could, if that, if that makes sense, right? You might say Kleenex and you're just referring to a tissue and it could be a different brand. Well, this is bullet, whenever you say bulletproof, it might not be bulletproof brand, Oh, this is actual bulletproof brand oil cooler. It's just crazy. Lots, you know, a couple little scratches like this. Nothing crazy. I haven't seen a single dent in the truck. Not a single dent, just a couple little scratches, little rock chips you would expect for a for a uh, 20 year old vehicle. Four wheel drive, of course. It's got the same brand of grill guard on the front. Look at the hood. Hood is just beautiful. Again, this hasn't been, we didn't do a, a polish or a paint correction or anything. This is just, and very few rock chips. It's just, just a good quality condition of the paint. Look up underneath there. It has the dual steering stabilizer. I don't know what brand that is, uh, but it is very nice. A uh, windshield doesn't have any cracks and it's actually the Ford original windshield. How many, well, I'm gonna show you the inside, but let me show you under here, no rust in the rockers. It also has these aftermarket lights uh, underneath. There's like three on this side, three on the other side. So when you hop in it, when you open the door, that illuminates the ground. Let me show you the rockers. They're super clean, nada. Uh, really, I mean, just, it's just clean down here, guys. No surface rust, no rust rust, just clean. Everything is clean. All right, let me show you some receipts here. So I just want to show you that it just passed Texas State Inspection. 
trying to get out of the sun. It just passed Texas State inspection, so that means everything, you know, the tires are good, the brakes are good, uh, all the lights worked, uh, blinkers worked, all those things. All right, here's the receipt. So it's going to come with a 12-month, 12, well, look at this. The fuel system is going to come with a two-year, 30,000-mile warranty. So we did a new fuel pump and filter assembly fuel pump. We did fuel tank sending unit O-ring fuel pump. Uh, da, da, da. You can read all that. Boom. That was $4,200 worth of work on the fuel system with a two-year, 30,000-mile warranty. Check it out. We also did the head studs. So we did uh, cylinder head gasket kits. We did cylinder heads, uh, valve seals, valves, decking. Those are O-ringed heads. We did the glow plugs that are two ignition lock we did it all guys we did injectors on this truck and we have receipts for all of it although i'm not seeing the injectors on here but i will be sure to notate that also check out the carfax it is a five owner texas truck no accidents been in texas uh its entire life no accidents, like I said. Uh, scratch that. Hadn't been in Texas his whole life, but it is a southern truck. I knew that. So it looks like it spent uh, its life in Florida for a little while. Florida, 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 Florida. Texas. Texas, 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 Texas. Texas, 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 Texas. Yeah, just a good truck, guys. Uh, good history. Again, this one's going to come with the 12-month uh, 12 12 unlimited mileage warranty on the heads. It's going to come with the two-year 30,000-mile warranty on the injectors and fuel system. Beautiful. Again, this is the Eddie Bauer, so it's loaded. It's got your... Uh, trailer brake controller it has you know you can adjust your pedals it does have an aftermarket pioneer stereo ac blows cold this guy works um, it does have a live wire monitor i just don't have it connected but it's down there and the plug for it is right there memory seats power seats heated seats coming around back again very clean you guys will not be disappointed. And this one, second row, doesn't look like it's ever been sat in. This has not been reupholstered. I didn't touch this back seat. It does have the rear infotainment center. TV is not cracked. I haven't tested it to see if it works. That's not something I typically do. I have no reason to believe it doesn't work. But you can still see the screen is not broken. Headliner. It's very clean, no rips or tears in the headliner. And then check out the roof. Roof is, is cleaned again, original paint. To my knowledge, I did not repaint it. Just looks to be in great shape. Here's the third row, it's hard to show that to you. Again, you guys, let me know if you have any questions. Be sure to follow us on Instagram as we post things as incoming there. First, both doors open. WeatherTech floor mat in the back. Again, headliner is clean. Look at the lack of any scratches or scuffs on the plastic back here. That hasn't just been detailed out. You can't pull those out sometimes if there's scratches. That's just how it looks. It's clean. Coming around here. I'll show you under the hood here in just a few minutes. And we will start it and take it for a test drive. If you are up north and you feel like this video is sufficient and you just want to buy the thing, let me know. We can handle everything electronically. But again, I encourage you, you're more than welcome to come down here and see it in person. I'm doing my best to represent it well. Very clean. Original owner's manual is in here as well as remote for the infotainment, remote for the uh, stereo. And then it does have a Viper alarm, by the way. It does have a Viper alarm system attached to it. All right, let me show you underneath 
the hood so you can check out the bulletproof branded system. So it is a bulletproof brand and it relocates the oil filter. Check out the, uh, the filter there. The oil filter has been relocated down here. That's kind of cool. Gotta set the phone down for a moment. Boom. All right, so check it out. Again, it does have ARP head studs and then we have the actual bulletproof brand sinister diesel i could be contradicting myself i believe it's the bulletproof brand if sinister diesel and Bullet the bulletproof brand are different let me know i could be contradicting myself right now yo guys sorry to interrupt the video i realized i just sounded like a total noob and i'll be honest i don't know a ton about the bulletproof system but i did want to clarify on the video so bulletproof brand bulletproof diesel this is the bypass oil cooler the, i just looked at the link it's like a 2700 dollars system comes with that and then like the base in there so the bulletproof system there's a piece in there and then boom the relocation kit boom and then what we saw over here was just the sinister diesel branded uh bypass filters etc so again some of you might know way more about that specific upgrade than i do but i wanted to clarify it does have the bulletproof brand oil cooler and then i guess the sinister diesel bypass coolant uh bypass oil again some of y'all might know more about that than i do but i did want to clarify that also just showing you guys under here a lot of this stuff uh just looks looks new all right anyway back to the video i believe the ac is new the compressor's new i believe the ac was rebuilt and everything that all looks new i didn't do it but it looks new but anyway so you've got your coolant bypass and your oil bypass and it literally comes through and shoots the oil once it's been filtered down in there so there's like multiple layers layers and some of you guys might know more about this than i do but there's multiple layers and levels of filtration happening so oil filter um a oil filter bypass coolant fil filter bypass it gets cleaned boom, and then it shoots down there and then it also has the uh the relocation down here so some of you might know more about that than i do but i know that's like a three thousand dollar system uh part part by itself is about three grand so head studs man this truck has it guys this one is nice batteries are both new 324 dated all right let's pop in this thing by the way it's been fully serviced of course new coolant new fresh oil fresh fuel filters this thing is 100 percent buy it and drive it today all right let me start this thing up does have two keys and then it has that viper alarm system not a not a cold start not a cold start ac is blowing very cold you'll notice 130,930.8 miles low miles no lights on AC's blowing, blowing cold. That's working, 105 miles till empty. Window, 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 door locks. Let's see here if I can show you. Seat works. See if I can show you the mirror. Mirror works. Mirror works. All right. The only thing negative on the whole truck, and it just started today. This was working yesterday, and it's not today. So GPS was working. Apple CarPlay was working. Stereo was playing. So all the speakers are new. I didn't replace them, but they were replaced by the previous owner. It sounds great. But for some reason, this isn't turning on today. And I'm not sure 
as to why it's not turning on today. So what I'm going to do is I have a partnership with JVC and I'm going to send a brand new JVC head unit along with this thing. So brand new uh, JVC head unit is going to come with the truck. It's not going to be installed. I'm just going to include it uh, because I don't know what has happened here, but it appears to be that the Pioneer stereo has failed. I don't believe it to be anything else. Again, it was functional yesterday, uh, but for some reason today, it is not functional. So I'm not sure what to say about that. Uh, otherwise, literally nothing negative to say about this thing. Let me show you under the hood so you can hear it run, and then we'll take it for a test drive. Nice little sound, not too loud, not too quiet, just kind of is what it is. All right, I'm going to turn off the phone for just a second, and then we'll hop in and go for a quick test drive. All right, guys, we're in the truck. I did want to notate a few things. You probably all saw this. There's a lot to say in these videos, so forgive me if I forgot something or even just didn't see it. But right here, we're on that same invoice, and there we go, right there, fuel injector, DPI remand for two-year warranty. So it does have all eight new injectors. You can see that was $1,700. $80 so I am inside now and you can see there fuel filter fuel pump and filter assembly fuel pump and then new injectors $4,200 almost and then yeah, that's just us talking to each other sorry just want to make sure you guys are aware of everything yeah, so two year, 30,000 mile warranty on the injectors. And then we got a 12 month, 24, or 12 month unlimited mileage warranty on the head studs and bulletproof. So boom, boom, boom. Yeah, about 10 or $11,000 worth of work uh, on this thing. Pretty quick, babe. And then also, to show you that the four wheel drive system does engage. Boom. All right, let's go for a little test drive here. Again, radio, that's the only thing that I'm aware of on this truck is not working. But again, I'm going to send you with a brand new JVC head unit in box, brand new, ready to be installed. I don't know why that's not working. All right, let's go for a little test drive. Sorry for the sun, but we'll get out of the sun here in a second. I can't even explain to you how smooth this thing is. Those Bilsteins coupled with those tires and the suspension, this thing rides really good as good as any Ford excursion I've ever been in including that one that we just listed with the ATS suspension uh, the transmission is dynamite smooth cannot feel the shifts it just sits there and idles with those new injectors guys this thing is amazing those shifts were, were seamless I'll keep this going for a couple of minutes so you can Get a good idea. Uh, there doesn't, there isn't any weird creaks or rattles in here. It's quiet. Again, that AC is blowing cold. I'm gonna turn it down just in case it's causing some sound in here and y'all can't hear me. Give us about 45 seconds and I'll be on a highway where I can get it up to highway speeds. I don't think you'll be disappointed with this truck. I would stand behind this truck and say it's one of the nicest ones we've ever had. And I fully believe it's one of the nicest ones available. And again, where are you going to find one with a warranty on the heads on the heads and the work we've performed? You're not going to find one with a warranty. Texas truck, no rust, no accidents. This one doesn't tickle your fancy. We do have a couple of others. By the way, it's a super bumpy road, so don't judge the truck on this. Any new car would be bumpy on this road you'll see in a minute when i get on the highway um if this one's not tickling your fancy we got a couple of others listed moment at the moment and then we've got a few more on the way all of which are in the same somewhat similar caliber i'll say that i have a couple of low miles trucks right now which is really awesome and by low mileage i'm referring to 
like 130, 135, 150. We do have one with 94,000 miles on it, which is super low. That one's gonna come on hopefully next week. It's a very nice truck. Gonna be asking a ton of money for that one, which I believe is validated based on what has sold from our inventory as well as what has sold around the country on bring a trailer, etc. Definitely gonna be plus 50,000 on that 94,000 mile truck. It's extremely nice. But anyway, so yeah, stay tuned to the, uh, the YouTube channel as well as our Instagram if you are interested in excursions or excursion related content or a maybe something else if this one's not in your budget or what have you. All right, here we go. I'm gonna be quiet so you guys can just hear it run. Steering is very tight. Little to zero steering uh, play in the steering wheel. I mean, just just no play. I actually live off of this road, so I drive this road every day, and I can't drive my the one I've been daily driving with just one hand holding a phone like this because it's got more play in the steering wheel. This one has, I mean, just I mean, it's new car level. It's very very good. Very, very good. Brakes are strong with those slotted rotors and the disc are the slotted and drilled rotors. Well, guys, if you have any questions, again, shoot me an email, give me a call, check out our website. Please like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, anyway, God bless you guys, and I will talk to you very, very soon.